how to add a custom domain on Google Sites. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to add your custom domain into the sites that you have created on Google Sites. It is very easy and very simple. Follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you're going to be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over to sites.google.com, sign in for your Google account and you're going to see the list of the websites that you have created. Basically, you're going to select one of the websites, for example, this one, or maybe that one. I'm going to select one of the websites. So basically, we're going to select maybe this. I don't know. So this one. And from there, what are we going to do is to head over uh, the uh, page or the website or the domain provider or the hoster. In my case, I have used uh, Namecheap to buy a domain. You can go ahead and use GoDaddy. You can use also Hostinger and whatever. So I'm not going to reference any or recommend any of those. Go ahead and use whatever suits you. Now, the most important part here is to head over your Google site, which is going to be uh, this one, for example, not this, but that one. And we're going to head over the next step, which is going to be uh, trying to link the Google site. Now we're going to open the uh, account panel or the uh, control panel of the uh, hoster. We're going to select the domain list or the domains. Then we're going to search for managing that domain. Now we're going to see here the uh, domain, as you can see, and we are going to add a DNS to it. So we're going to click on advanced DNS in my case on Namecheap. For other platforms, it is going to be named DNS. Now we're going to head over again at the Google site. We're going to click on publish options. So we're going to click on publish settings. And from here, we are going to see the custom domain popping right there. Make it easier for people to visit your website with custom domain like this. I'm going to click on manage. Now we are going to select from here custom domains, click on start setup. Then you are going to type in your domain right there. We have the www, so we are going to type in directly the domain. Now the domain name is going to be here. Basically, it is going to be that. So I have this. I'm not going to search for it, but I'm going to copy it. Here, what are we going to do is to paste it right here. And then we are going simply to set it up. So basically, this is the message that we need. This domain is not verified. Please verify your ownership. If you have the problem of getting here, the domain, uh, the domain is invalid. We're going simply to uh, delete the space that we have at the end. We're going to click on verify ownership. Now we are going to uh, click, for example, the domain. We're going to click on continue. It will set up the verification here. Now we are going to copy the text, as you can see, as the DNS uh, configuration. We're going to copy it. Here we have, as you can see, the uh, record type is going to be TXT. Uh, sign into your domain name provider, name cheap, copy the text below into the DNS configuration and please click on verify. Now, basically you are going to get here the uh, same thing or the same process for all of the providers or the hosters. I'm going to head over the uh, advanced DNS. This is a DNS matter. Now we are going to see the DNS that we have. So basically we are going to add to host records. This is it. Click on add a new record. Now we are going to see this drop down menu. We're going to scroll down, click on TXT record. Now, as you can see here, the uh, value or the host or the value is going to be the pasted ver uh, verification. And then we are going to save the changes. For the host, we are going to put simply the at here, just like the email one. And then we are going to save. Now, what are we going to do is to head over here on the Google Search Console that we have for the uh, steps. Click on verify and normally it will be here. So 
Uh, we couldn't find your verification token in your uh, domains text record found uh, on the DNS text record instead. So we are going to put it on the domain text record. And with a few resets or retries, we have uh, set up completely the ownership right there. So you can go ahead and click on go to property and set up here, see your property as it is claimed. That was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content. I hope to see you soon on the next one.